Hey there, hey darlings, welcome to my channel. So we have the Four of Cups starting out here. This is letting me know that there is some situation you may be fed up with. Uh, you are kind of just over it. It could have to do with work, a family matter. It's that you've been, you know, doing your best to make it work, but it's not working out. So you're kind of fed up and maybe throwing in the tower and things like that. I wouldn't necessarily do that. Uh, you are destined to have success in whatever it is that you are working in or doing. Um, it's just going to take a little bit more effort on your part, okay? So there is an offer that may be someone is presenting to you that you are not paying attention to or you're not wanting to accept. And if you do not take the time to go over this offer and see what it can uh, bring to your life, how it can turn your life around or how it can influence you overall, you may end up missing a really great opportunity. So go ahead and analyze the offer that someone is giving you. Don't just say no because you're in a bad mood or because you don't like the person, you're not familiar with the person, you don't know anything about what they're offering you. Take the time to study it, learn about it before you make your decision because if you turn down their offer, you could end up experiencing some type of setback in life, right? Um, whereas if you accept the offer, then you could re you could end up uh, experiencing a success in your life that you did not anticipate and could put you in your King of Pentacles energy. And this is regardless if you are a man or a woman. So whatever offer is being presented to you, go ahead and analyze that, look it over, think about it. Even ask for advice before turning it down, okay? Or even before accepting it. Um, so just be mindful of that. You may be someone that is extremely practical, um, but the offer that is being presented to you, you're going to have to kind of pull practicality out the door uh, to the extent that you utilize that skill. Uh, you may be over thinking something that is being offered to you um, and due to your overthinking, you may end up missing a really great opportunity. So you're someone who is extremely passionate. You start a lot of different projects and things like that. Um, so when, if one thing does not work out, you'll start another one, which that is a great trait to have, but you tend to have a problem with sticking to, to things that you start, which is why we had this Knight of Wands out here. You, you know, get this passion for something, you start it and then made way through, you end up letting it go or you just stop putting effort into it. And I'm not sure why it is that you do that, but you're being asked to kind of commit yourself to something. Commit yourself to whatever, maybe possibly what this offer is or pick something and stick to it. Stop hopping from hobby to hobby or from trade to trade. Pick something and, and, and stick to it. There is something that you were working on that you may have gotten like halfway through and you ended up giving up on it because you didn't see the you didn't see the benefit of working on that project anymore, working their career anymore, working their business anymore. So halfway through when you got to that point, you said, Well, I don't have anything to show for everything that I've done. Um, so you stopped working on it or you let it go. Or this is possibly what some of you are thinking about doing. You're being asked to, you know, maybe pick up a new trade and stick to it. Study it. Study everything you need to about that trade. Uh, pick up a new line of work. Pick up a new skill. Study just something new, right? You may even want to ask for advice from other people that are more experienced in the field or the trade that you are interested in so that you can be successful in it. Uh, it Sometimes it takes more than one head to accomplish something and you could be someone that tends to want to do everything on your own, but you're being advised to ask for advice on this new trade that you are picking up so that your victory is ensured, your success is ensured because you're showing up here as well as the magician, which means that you are someone that has all of the necessary tools uh, physically and spiritually to be successful in life. You are a magician. So your life path is in your hand. You control the direction, the trajectory of your life, right? No one else is controlling that. But you just need to calm your mind and, you know, kind of team this energy that you have, this Knight of Wands energy. And, you know, uh, be careful with what it is you're starting, the energy you're putting in there. You know, start things up slowly, Commit yourself to learning about what it is that you want to do instead of just hopping into the hot pot 
without anything um, that can help you thrive, right? Without the tools that you need. Uh, it, so it seems that you have the tools you need to succeed, but you're not utilizing them. You, or you don't know how to utilize them. It's what I'm hearing as well. So, and you're also showing up as the King of Pentacles out here, which means you're someone, of course, as I mentioned, practical, someone with a lot of common sense and things like that. But it just is that sometimes your emotions get the best of you. Um, also, someone in your life who is a King of Pentacles is seeing you as a Knight of Wands for some of you, okay? They're seeing you as someone passionate about life. You're a go-getter, you're a starter and things like that. So this person may have an opportunity for you that's going to lead to you putting an end to something you're already working on. So maybe this offer they're giving you is a little bit more promising than what you are working on by yourself. And so you're being advised to analyze whatever offer they're giving you before turning it down to ensure that you know everything you need to know. This may be coming from someone unexpected, someone you don't know, but they see you as a self-starter. They see you as someone passionate, someone determined to make it um, in life and someone with a lot of different skills, someone multifaceted is how this King of Pentacles is seeing you. So anyways, that is your read. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.